As Microsoft's ERP product for the mid-market, Business Central puts the full functionality of Dynamics Nav in the cloud. But what does this mean for on-premise Nav users? I'm Rebecca from Cargus, and today we're going to explore how Business Central might impact Microsoft ERP users. Let's start with a little background. In 2018, Dynamics Nav was rebranded as Dynamics 365 Business Central on-premise. However, Business Central is also available as a cloud solution. Both the on-premise and cloud versions have the same features. The main difference is the deployment strategy. For now, Microsoft will continue to support existing versions of Nav, but it won't release upgrades. To receive the latest features from Microsoft and Microsoft support, you'll need to transition to Dynamics 365 Business Central. Switching to Business Central is just like any other NAV upgrade. NAV partners should be equipped to help their customers manage this transition, but if your current NAV partner doesn't have experience with Business Central, you may need to seek out someone new. The ideal partner understands the key differences between NAV and Business Central. NAV users are probably familiar with the concurrent user license model, which lets your business purchase licenses to ensure that a certain number of users can access and update the software simultaneously. Business Central does not offer concurrent licenses, although users can access the software at the same time. Instead, each license has a named user, which means every single person who accesses the software will have an individual license and not a shared one. In order to make the transition from concurrent users to named users simple, NAV customers will receive two named user licenses for each NAV concurrent user. This means it will be easier to track who accesses which parts of the software to make changes. Also, in place of NAV's limited user license, Business Central has a team member license. This is simply a name change. These licenses provide equal levels of access for users. Microsoft offers both perpetual and subscription licenses for Business Central, just like you've seen with your Dynamics Nav product. Because Business Central has named user licenses, under the subscription model, your monthly fee is based on the number of users you have. Perpetual licenses will cost more upfront, but they never expire, so if you keep them for several years, you'll save money in the long run. Keep in mind that if you opt for cloud deployment, you'll have to use the subscription model. Business Central uses a cloud-compatible development platform for customizations. This means any NAV customizations or third-party integrations you'd like to continue using in Business Central may need to be redeveloped for the Business Central platform. As part of your transition, you'll need to evaluate your customizations and determine which ones are necessary to redevelop. Microsoft releases updates for Business Central twice a year in April and October. The cloud platform is automatically updated by Microsoft, so you'll have an easy hands-off experience. Change isn't always exciting, but it can be easy. If you want to learn more about Business Central or just want to chat about your transition strategy, Cargus is here to help. We've worked with companies like yours to implement ERP solutions for more than 25 years. Let's connect to talk about your business, your needs, and your future goals. Book a meeting using the link in the description.